Welcome to this brief yoga flow. Begin standing with maybe our feet about hip width distance apart, really fanning the toes wide, softening the shoulders from the ears and rolling the palms forward. Take your chin and press it forward on purpose and then gently draw the chin back. So your neck is in line with the spine with some natural forward curve. Take a big inhale breath, stretch the hands wide overhead as high as feels comfortable. And exhale, let your hands float down to the sides. Couple more breaths that way. Inhale, stretch the hands wide and high overhead. Exhale and allow the arms to float down. One more time, inhale a stretch of the arms overhead. And exhale an easy release down. Let's add on to that. Inhale, stretch the arms wide and high overhead. Pause at the top, right hand back, left hand forward. We're twisting the heart open to the side of our space while the hips stay square. Inhale, the hand center. Exhale, twist the second side, left hand back, right hand forward, opening to the opposite side of the space while the hips stay forward. Inhale in the hand center and exhale, float the hands wide down to the sides. Let's try that again. Inhale the hands wide overhead as high as feels comfortable. Exhale, twist opening first side. Inhale the hands center. Exhale, twist open, second side. Inhale, hand center. Exhale, float the hands wide and down to the sides. One more round. Inhale, the hands wide overhead. Exhale in a big open twist, stretching out through fingertips, maybe looking toward the back thumb. Inhale, center. Exhale and twist, spreading the heart open, maybe looking back toward the back thumb. Inhale, center. And exhale, the arms float down to the sides. Little bend and stretch in the knees into a chair pose. Inhale, sit the hips back. Thigh bones stay parallel here if that's accessible. Sitting back, maybe supporting the body with hands on thighs if that feels good. Exhale and press. Let's do that again. Inhale, sit back into that imaginary chair. Hands could be at the waist or the heart, even overhead if that feels good. Exhale and press back to standing. Couple more. Inhale, sit back back into your chair of choice. Exhale and press to standing. Maybe one more. Inhale, sit back into chair. We'll pause in this chair, maybe taking an airplane arm. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, the arms press back uh, behind us, squeezing the shoulder blades together and down. Inhale, the hands forward and up. Exhale, an airplane arm, arms sweep back by the sides, pressing the backs of the palms toward the wall behind you. Inhale, hands forward and up. Exhale, press back, airplane arm, feeling some heat building in the lower body. Inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, press back. One more here, maybe inhale forward and up. Exhale, press back and release is a forward fold. Maybe walking the hands down the legs. Knees can stay as bent as feels comfortable here today. Let the head be heavy. And take a few deep breaths in this forward fold for just a moment. If you're not at the front edge of your mat, I'll invite you to take a few steps forward to the front edge of the mat. We'll take a halfway lift here. So hands supporting on earth, shins, thighs, lengthen up so the spine is parallel to the earth, belly drawing in, shoulder blades down into your back pockets, and exhale forward fold. Right foot stays, left foot back to lunge pose of choice. You could lower the back knee or not. Front knee over front ankle as the hand sweeps skyward, high lunge, inhale breath. Exhale, release hands to earth. 
We're walking to a wide leg forward fold. So rotating the feet so the toes point toward the long edge of the mat in a wide leg forward fold, just momentarily. Walking to the other side of the mat into lunge pose. So facing the opposite short end of your mat or space, inhale, we're up to lunge of choice. Back knee could be down. And exhale, it's a forward fold, top of the mat. Halfway lift here, inhale, long spine, shoulder blades into back pockets. Exhale, release forward fold. Right leg stays, left foot back. Same right leg forward, lunge pose of choice. Inhale, hands to the sky if that feels good. Exhale, the hands ground to the earth. And walking the hands into that wide leg forward fold. We're now facing the opposite long edge of the mat. Toes facing same direction, outer edges of the feet parallel, just momentarily. And then walking the hands back, rotating that back heel skyward into lunge pose. Knee can lower or not. Inhale, fingertips to the sky, lunge pose. Exhale, forward fold, top of the mat. It's a halfway lift here. Inhale, long spine, support shins, thighs, earth. Exhale, forward fold. This time, left foot stays, right foot back. Lunge pose of choice, inhale, earth to sky with the hands. Maybe the heart lifts, maybe the gaze lifts. Exhale, release, hands to earth. Walking the hands to wide leg forward fold momentarily and rotating the feet to the other side of the mat. Lunge pose, second side, inhale, fingertips to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine here, <sighs> belly drawing in. Exhale, round forward fold. Left foot stays, same left foot stays, right foot back. Back knee can lower or not. Inhale, fingertips to sky, lunge pose. Exhale, release, hands to earth. We're walking to wide leg forward fold, facing the opposite long edge of the mat. Toes both face, facing forward here, outer edges of the feet parallel, just for a moment, and then rotating the feet, walking back to lunge pose on the front edge of the mat. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. And pause here in this forward fold. Take an inhale breath. Exhale breath. Maybe a slow roll up through the spine. You can even walk the hands up the body if that feels good. Shoulders, head come up last. Maybe a roll of the shoulders here. Softness in the knees. Then finding a focal point, something to steady the weight of the head here in front of you. We'll shift our weight into the right leg, long active right leg, but the knee is still a little soft. Left knee draws into the chest. Maybe the toe taps on the earth or the foot could lift away entirely. Hands could come to a T-shape if that helps with balance. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, send your left toes back behind you, tinging at the hips, finding a hawk pose. Breathe here, inhale breath. Exhale breath. Notice if your chin is really drawing forward and down toward the floor, gently draw the chin back so your neck is in line with your spine with a natural forward curve in the neck. Inhale, we're coming back knee to chest. So inhale, breath, that left knee draws in toward the chest. Maybe the toe taps on the mat. And exhale, mountain pose. Pause here for a breath. Maybe palms to touch, thumbs to sternum. Setting up second side. Left foot grounds to the earth, long and active left leg. So the knees may be a little soft, but uh, not uh, locked out. And then right knee lifts to chest. Maybe the right toes tap on the mat, or maybe we lift the knee up toward the chest, using that focal point to steady the gaze and the weight of the head. 
Take an inhale breath here. Then exhale, send your right foot back behind you, hinging at the waist, moving into hawk pose. Arms could come to a T-shape if that feels good for you here. Breathe, inhale and exhale breath. Now, if you've noticed your chin is starting to sink toward the earth, draw the chin back so the neck is in line with the spine. Natural spinal curves here. Take an inhale breath here and then exhale, coming back, knee to chest, or maybe the right toes tap on the mat. Inhale here and exhale, ground into mountain pose. Maybe hands at the heart. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Arms stretch to that T-shape. Take an inhale here and draw left knee to chest. Left knee to chest or maybe toe tapping on the mat. Exhale, breath. Move into hawk pose. Stretch the left toes behind you, hinging at the hips. And pause here, stretching your back toes back just as far as you can and bending your supporting leg to tap down into a lunge pose, soft and easy here in lunge. We're heading back to hawk, shifting the weight forward one or several steps, coming back to our hawk pose balance. Inhale, breath here. Exhale, left knee to chest or maybe tapping the toe on the mat and ground mountain pose. Maybe hands to heart or the waist. Take an inhale and an exhale breath. <sighs> Next inhale breath, right knee draws in toward the chest, right knee to chest. Exhale, send the right toes back behind you into hawk pose, maybe arms to a T-shape. Here, we're bending our supporting legs, stretching the right toes into the backspace just as far as we can to silently, gently land down into lunge pose momentarily. Take an inhale breath and exhale, shifting the weight back onto your front supporting leg, moving into that hawk pose balance. Take an inhale here. Exhale, knee to chest or maybe toe tapping on the mat. Inhale here. And exhale, ground, mountain pose, maybe hands to heart and inhale breath and exhale breath. One more addition to this series, inhale, left knee to chest or maybe toe tapping on the mat. Exhale, stretch the toes behind you into hawk pose, hinging at the hips. Inhale and exhale, bending the supporting legs, stretching and silently landing back in lunge pose. And inhale and an exhale, shifting our weight back forward into hawk pose. Inhale, knee to chest. Exhale, sitting into figure four chair. Left ankle crosses over the left thigh, shin or ankle, and we're sitting back into a single leg chair, maybe hands to the heart. And we breathe here, four deep inhales and exhale breaths. If that feels good for your body. Now your body might be asking for fewer or more breaths in this pose. You decide when to move out into mountain pose to meet us there. An inhale breath and exhale breath. And let's stretch out here into mountain pose, both feet ground, hands by the sides. Inhale breath, exhale breath. Second side and inhale breath, right knee to chest or maybe toes tapping on the mat. Exhale, breath. We're stretching the right toes behind us, hinging at the hips, hawk pose. An inhale and an exhale to bend into the supporting leg and transition to lunge pose, a silent landing back. An inhale and an exhale, breath, shifting the weight back forward and moving into hawk pose. Inhale, breath here, exhale, knee to chest. Inhale here and exhale, figure four chair. We're crossing right ankle over left thigh and sitting back into a single leg chair, maybe hands to the heart if that feels good. 
of that top ankle could cross at the shin or at the ankle rather than the thigh. And you might stay here for inhales and exhales, or you might move out sooner or later, depending on what your body is asking for today. Inhale breath here. Exhale breath, figure four chair. Maybe one more breath. And an easy transition out, mountain pose. Inhale and exhale here. And then an easy transition, inhale, hands wide and high overhead. Let this be easy and flowing. Maybe lift the heart, press the hips forward. Exhale, palms might connect as we forward fold. Maybe walking the hands down the legs, bending the knees for comfort. And stepping ourselves back into a tabletop position or a downward facing dog. That's up to you today. I think I'll transition to a down dog today. You might be in tabletop with knees under hips and hands under shoulders. Whatever choice you're making today, fan the fingers really wide and ground into the L's of the hands. So pressing into the base of the thumb and the base of the index finger. Take a couple of deep inhale and exhale breaths. And if you're not in tabletop, I'll invite you to head there, knees under hips, hands under shoulders. Maybe ground the tops of the feet down to the earth if that feels comfortable. And take an inhale, breath, exhale, round cat stretch. Head and tail reach toward each other under the body and the belly button stretches up toward the sky. Inhale, cow pose. Belly drops, head and tail lift toward the sky and away from each other. So think length and lift. Exhale, round cat stretch, puffing up the upper back, drawing the tailbone underneath you and maybe chin gently toward the chest. Inhale, cow pose. Head and tail lift to the sky. The belly draws down toward the earth, lengthening through the spine. Maybe the chin lifts. Exhale, round cat stretch. Inhale, cow pose. And then let's find a neutral tabletop position here. Right arm lengthens forward and up and allow the fingertips to continue to stretch skyward, opening into a twist in this table. Pause at the top, inhale, breath here. Exhale, stretch the fingers back behind you and then circling down toward the floor. Same right side. Inhale the fingers forward and up to the sky. Tabletop twist. Exhale fingers stretch back behind you and down toward the floor. One more. Inhale forward and up. Exhale stretch back and down. Second side. Inhale the left fingertips forward and up to the sky. Pause here. Feel this twist through the upper spine. And on your next exhale, the fingertips stretch back behind you, circling down to the floor. Second, same side, second round. Inhale forward and up, left hand. Exhale, stretch back and down. One more circle. Inhale, left hand forward and up. Exhale, circling back and down. And pause here. We're tucking the toes under and firming through the low belly. Let's hover one or two knees up off the mat, feeling the core firing up here. Inhale and exhale breath. We'll stay here for about four breaths. You might choose to stay here for less or more time. That's up to you and your body, your breath today. Inhale and exhale breath making nurturing kind choices. One more beautiful inhale and exhale if that feels good. And then a press back to down dog or to a child's pose, whichever feels most restful for you today. Take an inhale breath here, exhale breath. And then we'll all meet in a plank pose, knees or feet. So. Long line from shoulders to knees or shoulders to heels. Hands grounded under the shoulders. Let's take an inhale breath and we'll bend the elbows, hugging them into the body. Just bend maybe as far as 90 degrees, but as far as feels comfortable. And then exhale, press back to long arms. 
maybe two more that way. Belly firming here. Inhale, bend the elbows as far as feels comfortable. Exhale and press. Just one more this way. Inhale, bend the elbows. Exhale and press. And then gently lowering all the way to your belly, any way you like, all the way down to the mat. Arms to a big, beautiful T-shape here. Legs maybe mat with distance apart. A variation on cobra. Inhale, lift the heart, float the arms. And pause here for just a few breaths. Feel some length in the low back. Maybe sense into some energy stretching out through the toes and out through the tailbone. Chin is tucked, so maybe the neck is feeling long or the gaze is down toward the mat. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. One more lovely inhale and exhale. And then ease yourself down to the mat. I'll invite you to roll right over to your back. Big full body stretch here. Hands and feet lengthening to opposite walls. Maybe even walking the hips down away from the ribs. Big inhale breath and exhale, draw knees to chest. If it feels good, maybe wrapping the hands over the shins, maybe curling the forehead up toward the knees. Couple of deep breaths here in this small ball here, curling forehead to knees if that feels comfortable. Inhale and exhale breath. And allow the feet to drop to the mat. About hip width distance apart, the knees are bent, hands by the sides, palms down. Tuck your shoulder blades underneath you and take a nice big breath in. Exhale, press into the feet, backs of the arms, and allow the hips to float skyward. Here in bridge pose, let's take a few deep breaths. I'll invite you to try a variation if you like, if it feels comfortable. You'll take an inhale breath and exhale, draw the toes back toward the shins so you're balancing just on the heels. And then inhale, ground the whole of the foot down to the mat. Inhale, breath. Exhale, toes draw back towards the shins, balancing on the heels in this bridge pose. Inhale, return, grounding the whole foot. Exhale, toes to shins. Inhale, grounding. Maybe a few more that way. Exhale, toes to shins. Exhale, ground. When you're ready to move out of this bridge pose, take an inhale breath with both feet grounded on the mat and exhale, gently roll down through the spine if that feels comfortable today. Maybe arms come to a cactus or a T-shape. We'll take some gentle knee waves. Inhale, knees to the right. Exhale, center. Inhale, knees to the left. Exhale, center. Use your own breath to guide the pace, the speed of this movement side to side. And perhaps if it feels good, you may even pause on one side for a few breaths. And if you're taking that pause on one side, when you're ready, transition to second side and pause there as well for a few moments. We are transitioning into our final rest here. When you're ready, you evened both sides out with that spinal twist, knee waves. We'll take a big full body stretch. Hands and feet lengthen out to opposite walls. And then resting the arms down by the sides, perhaps tucking the shoulder blades underneath you, 
and recentering the head. Maybe adjusting the pelvis so the low back feels comfortable, allowing the legs to roll open. Perhaps the palms face skyward if that feels good. And if it's accessible and comfortable today, you might allow the eyelids to become heavy or perhaps blink the eyes closed. Here in our final pose, we are simply practicing release and rest. Noticing the sensations of the body, the activity of the mind, and perhaps allowing a deeper sense of stillness if and when it is all possible. Sensing into the space and the quiet there between and behind the thoughts and sensations that spaciousness where our experience arises. Sensing in as best you can into that space of rest and release. We'll be quiet for just another few minutes here to allow you to practice your relaxation pose your Shavasana. I'll invite you now to bring some deeper inhales and exhales into the body, perhaps blinking the eyes open if they were closed. And very gently, very easily, making your way to one side if that is accessible and comfortable today. And just drawing in a few breaths in this easy sideline position. And then when you're ready, an easy press up to a tall, comfortable seat. Any seat is welcome here, cross-legged or with your legs folded underneath you, long legs seated in a chair. Find some length in the spine and softness in the shoulders. Perhaps bring the palms to touch and thumbs toward the sternum. Just acknowledging if it feels good, some gratitude for your own energy and efforts today. For doing something for your own health and well being. Gratitude to you for your practice today. <laughs> 